Breathe as, normal, as normally as possible. I might fall asleep. Try not to fall asleep. We'll check on you every few minutes to make sure you're not. Put this arm up here. Yep. And we'll tuck this in. So the test we're doing on Will here is a resting metabolic rate test. It gives us his metabolism. And it's going to give us output in terms of how many calories does he burn every day if he were to do nothing but lay down on this table. Hey everyone, thanks so much for checking out this video. In today's video, we get an explanation by Dr. Bill Campbell from the University of South Florida about resting metabolic rate testing. I was lucky enough to be able to go over to the University of South Florida and get my RMR tested along with a lot of other tests that they did just to be able to gauge kind of where my body fat was and then how much calories I expend on a daily basis utilizing the RMR test that you guys just saw a snippet of. Now my assistant coach for metabolic evolution James Longstrom actually is in the exercise science program as a master's student over there at USF so he asked me to come by and get some stuff done and we gathered a lot of data which I'm really excited to share with you guys so if anybody is interested in learning more about resting metabolic rate and the test guys I have Dr. Bill Campbell from the University of South Florida he's going to tell you guys all about why he chooses to utilize resting metabolic rate. So the test we're doing on Will here is a resting metabolic rate test. And what that does is it basically gives us his metabolism. And it's going to give us output in terms of how many calories does he burn every day if he were to do nothing but lay down on this table. So it doesn't factor in the calories from exercise. It doesn't factor in the calories from stress. Uh, and it also doesn't factor in the, the extra calories that he would burn from eating food. So if he did nothing but lay down for 24 hours, this test tells us how many calories he would be burning from zero activity, essentially. The way that it does that is it measures oxygen and carbon dioxide. So what he's breathing in and breathing out, it captures those gases. And there's a, there's a correlation between how much oxygen your body consumes and how many calories that equates to. So that's how this machine works. This test will last about 20 minutes. And during that time, Will is just basically going to lay here. He's not going to fall asleep, but he's going to try to be as relaxed as he can possibly be during this test. The other nice thing that this equipment does, it will tell us the percentage of calories that he's burning from fat and from carbohydrates. So if he were on a ketogenic diet, this would tell us that he's burning more fat or if he typically has a large carbohydrate intake or had a huge carbohydrate meal yesterday before going to bed, this machine will tell us, yes, you're burning more fat or you're burning more carbohydrates or an equal amount of both. I told you that video was gonna be super helpful, guys, so that is all about resting metabolic rate testing. Now, those of you who made it to the video, please feel free to leave me a comment down below. Let me know if you have ever had your RMR tested uh, and if you guys can actually guess what my current RMR is, I'll be doing a giveaway. So go ahead, leave me a comment down below. Comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think my resting metabolic rate currently is and anybody who comes relatively close to it. I will send you a gift in the mail, all right? Thank you so much for checking out this video, guys. This is all about resting metabolic rate. I wanna give a huge shout out and thank you to Dr. Bill Campbell from the University of South Florida within the Exercise Science Department. Have a good day, everybody.